And we're back, and we're gonna take a first run in the dirt of the Mad Wagon VE build kit. So this is a this comes as a kit, not as a ready to run. You can buy this truck as a ready to run, but this is the build kit. I was thoroughly impressed at how well everything fit, um, how nice of a kit it was, um, and so far so good. I've done a couple speed tests, so I'm running the Castle limited edition system. The long can motor fits in here perfectly. Copperhead 10 system. Spectrum Radio, um, Reedy Servo, and it's going to be running on 3S. Uh, the only thing I've done to it so far is I've just ran it in a plain parking lot a couple times just to uh, see how the speed was and if everything was geared correctly. And I went up from the factory 13 tooth to a 14 tooth. Now keep in mind, this is a mod one gearing. So a 14 tooth is almost like two 32 pitch gears or like one and a half. So it actually went up quite a bit and it tops out now at about 45 miles an hour the way that it sits um, and that's a respectable speed for a 10 scale monster truck and it's going to be plenty fast so we're going to get this out and ripping and we'll see how it does there's the body for it um, i've showed the body here and there but the body turned out super sweet the body turned out really nice uh, the way that i painted it I didn't want to get too complicated with it, but then I ended up kind of complicating it a little bit. Uh, there's no decals. This is all paint, and uh, I kind of like the green accent on this. It was a nice touch. If you haven't seen my video on the Creighton, so this was a Creighton 4S V2 that I've converted over to a V2.5. So um, that's not anything special if you have a V2.5, but if you have ver uh, a version 2, um, the video would give you good information on part numbers and everything that you'd need to do to convert it to make it a little bit better. It's got a brand new body on it, just to, took the wrapping off of the body today, and it hasn't been ran. I'm going to run that a little bit later also, but not in this video, separate video. Now what little bit I've run this just in the parking lot and stuff, though the one thing I notice is how quiet the gearing is. I'm even being mod one gearing, plastic gear. It's actually a very quiet truck. It's got decent power. I don't want to gear it up too much, but that's doing pretty good. I do like the way this thing handles so far. I'm kind of wishing I would have got one of these before, one of the ready to runs, but I like the idea that I was able to build this one. handling really well. Um, it's extremely bumpy right here. I 
think I'm a, like a long ways away from those horses and they're a little ticked off. Boy, this thing is ha oh, oh, there's his first speed crash. Pop the body up a little bit again. It just doesn't sit well around the bumper, but. Trying to find anything to kind of jump off of, and there isn't really much going on over here right now. So far, so good, guys. This thing runs pretty good. Now, I'm not doing extreme bathing. This is just regular RC car running. Just testing it out. I don't want to break it and get it all messed up the first couple times. I mean, just do a little gradual. Next time we take it out, We'll bust out the jump for sure. You could probably use a little bit more of a diff tuning. Uh, I think it could have a little bit heavier weight in the front, which might help with the spinning out. Uh, it's not spinning out terrible. It's loose out here. All the cars spin out and out here, but I think that might help a little bit. Uh, the front's just kind of unloading a little bit. I don't know, I'll have to mess with it. Think about that. Oh yeah. Pulls the wheels pretty good. My rival MT-10 is my absolute favorite 10 scale monster truck just because it's so easy. The way it drives and everything is awesome. And it does break too. It's not exactly the most durable, but it does hold up pretty good. Oops. But I wanted, I want something different. I've tried a couple different other trucks and I can't find anything that's even close. I would say I do like the way this one is driving though. I mean, I'll tell you right now, this drives better than any of the 10 scale Traxxas trucks. The Stampede was okay, pretty decent platform, but there's something about Traxxas vehicles that they just, they drive kind of what I would like to call chunky. Like they feel, the way they bounce and stuff, they just don't handle the best. And it makes, you try tuning them and doing different things and they just don't ever respond like you want them to. The MT-10, I, I tuned that thing a little bit here and there, and every time you do something to it, the chassis totally responds, and uh, the setup I have in it right now is just awesome. It works really well. Out of the box, they're good, but they can get better. Um, but this thing seems to be feeling good. Whoa! The only thing about just about with any other basher is you always have to worry about house durability. We will be testing that soon enough. When we get out the, find some places to jump it. I think this thing will backflip probably pretty easily. 
it probably could use a little bit more gear. So I'm gonna say it could go up to a 15. I'm afraid, you know, with the Mod 1 gearing, that's quite a step. So it could start running a little hot. Right now I got a fan and stuff on it and it isn't seem like it's overheating by any means. be a little faster I think it could be a little faster I would assume this is about as fast as the techno I can't get the gearing on the techno figured out my rival and the granite we have would probably smoke this thing no problem speed wise those things are really fast and it's getting hot but I'm I mean I'm ripping on it as far as I'm just pretty much throttle and full throttle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And to be surprised that this 4,000 milliamp battery pack has lasted as long as it has. I expected it to be dead by now. Anyway, guys, the first run of the Mad Wagon on dirt was awesome. Uh, definitely like this truck. I think it's definitely worth somebody building it. Um, we will check more into the durability. I'd hate to say that it's super durable or not durable. I mean, I flipped it over a few couple times, but no, I mean, nothing really a big deal. The body does like to pop up and hang on the bumper. That's not a big deal. Um, but we'll do a lot more videos on this. Anyway, guys, uh, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to always uh, shop at your local hobby shop. Thanks for watching.